or they may experience very mild and flu-like symptoms including loss of appetite, nausea, fatigue, muscle or joint aches, and mild fever. About 25 to 35 percent of the patients may notice dark urine and or jaundice, which means yellowing of the skin or eyes. A few infected persons may die of liver failure within a short period of time after getting sick. The incubation period averages 30 days, but can last as long as 12 weeks. An infected individual can transmit the virus to others as early as two weeks before symptoms appear. For substance abusers, this is bad news. If a needle is shared, there may be no indication that the person has a disease when they are actually infected. Hepatitis B is transmitted through contact with body fluids such as blood, semen, and vaginal fluids. Thus, anyone who is exposed to blood or body fluids of an infected person is at risk of infection. Although sexual contact is the most common transmission route, it can also be passed through exposure to sharp instruments contaminated with infected blood, such as the needles used in drug use, tattooing, or body piercing. Mothers who are infected can pass the virus on to their newborn babies. The virus can survive outside of the body for at least seven days on a dry surface and is 100 times more contagious than HIV. The only way to know if you are currently infected or if you are a carrier is to have a blood test. However, the test will not show positive during the incubation period of up to 12 weeks. Get a blood test if you engage in high-risk behavior, such as sharing needles or cocaine straws. Remember that blood and other body fluids can pass this disease even in the absence of symptoms. Protected sex using a condom is one way to prevent infection. Another is to avoid needle sharing. Any household surface that becomes contaminated with your blood or body fluids should be cleaned promptly. Don't drink alcohol as it may cause additional damage to your liver. If you have not been vaccinated and have been exposed, Gamma globulin shots may be helpful. See your physician or your health department as soon as possible. If you have more than one sex partner within a six month period, you should consider vaccination. Of course, everyone who handles blood or blood products in his or her daily activities should be vaccinated. This applies to anyone who uses needles. Other people who are at high risk and should be vaccinated are men who have sex with men, infants and children of immigrants from countries that have a high incident of hepatitis B, infants born to infected mothers, prisoners, and hemodialysis patients. There is no treatment for acute hepatitis B. Hepatitis